As you might have guessed, today we're talking about the Think Tank Airport International version 3.0. So this is the bag that I bought to replace my Pelly case. Now, I still have the Pelly case and in a future video, I'll be talking about the differences between the two of them. I think there's good things about both, um, but this one fits my needs a bit better uh, right now. So let's not get into comparisons for this video. Let's just talk about the bag. Uh, one of the main reasons I got it is because I can carry pretty much everything that I want here uh, without my backpack. Now, I do still use the backpack, obviously, because there's a lot of little things that I carry around. But if I really wanted to, I could use just this one. So let's open it up. And before I actually open it up, the quality itself is magnificent. I mean, it's not a cheap roller uh, bag by any means. Uh, but you can see that the quality, you, you're paying for it. You can really, really see from the zippers to the quality of the, of this material that's used to the wheels. Um, everything here is magnificent. So let's open it up. Actually, the outside first. So I have the laptop here. And there's plenty of room for other stuff like um, pens and uh, an iPad or a tablet if you want. There's a little, let me try to turn this around, um, a little bag with a transparent thing, places for business cards, cables, whatever you might use in a short space. Now, if I open it up completely, actually let me turn it around first again. So you can see all the, the little compartments here are see-through. So you can actually see what's inside. Uh, so I usually have here the USB and card reader, a cable if I need to recharge um, the notebook or whatever, the, the MacBook, uh, some paracetamol, some lens cloth, just a few, few things here. Most of the little things I actually carry in the backpack because this is just gear mainly. So as you can see from the main website of Think Tank, this bag comes with an insane amount of dividers. Okay, so I'm gonna be putting up pictures as I'm talking so you can see all the different options that you can have uh, when you buy this bag. So I have removed the vast majority of the dividers. So all I have right now here in the, well, all, uh, what I have in the bag right now is the 400, the 7200, the 16 to 35, the EF adapter, and two camera bodies. Now, you will notice that some of the dividers have like an oval shape, like a circular shape, and that's so that the, the lens uh, just fits perfectly, and you can actually have the lens mounted to the camera body. So when you open the bag, you pick it up and it's ready to go. Now, I don't like to do that. And the reason for that is when I'm carrying the bag, I don't want there to be another point of stress in the mount. So it just takes me a minute to get my my lens ready with the camera body. So I don't want to have it to, you know, make a pressure point while I'm carrying the bag. So I don't use that uh, the bag that way. So I have divided the bag in a way that separates both the camera bodies from the lenses um, and yeah and that's it but to each their own I know some people like to have the, the cameras ready to go so if that's your thing um, these two dividers are done exactly for that uh, what else do I have here I have the the rain cover for the bag so basically this rain cover does not cover the whole bag it covers half of it so it attaches to the legs and to the front so it, Considering you have it laying down, it will cover the vast majority of it. And the material of which it's made out of, it's quite good. It's better than the low pro backpack that I have, um, but it's still not completely watertight. So it does help, but if you're in a downpour, you might wanna you know, go to a little place that's a bit more dry. So let me show you the gear that I have. So the 400 mil is here. Then I have the 7200 on the side. The two camera bodies go here. 
the F adapter and lens plug and the 16 to 35 F4. So that's, it's a, a bag mostly for gear. So for the little things, uh, I use the, the backpack. So for the, 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 the monopod, the rain covers for the lenses, uh, cables, etc. Everything else, I use it on the backpack. So the bag is quite, quite heavy when it's fully loaded, but obviously that's, that's a given. Uh, but it's really comfortable because the wheels are really, really good. That's one of the things that I don't like about uh, the Pelle case. Again, I'll talk about that in a different video. Is that when it's heavy and it's heavy on its own, it's it's really heavy. And if the, the terrain is not smooth, it's a lot harder to, to pull the bag. Whereas in this one, the wheels are much, much bigger and it just feels easier to pull the bag. Um, but this is it. It's just a. It's not a deep uh, review uh, because I don't have the patience to do that type of review. Uh, all I can say is that the bag is is worth every penny. It's absolutely fantastic. In fact, I remember the first match that I did with this bag uh, was the All Ireland Camogie final, and I just posted a picture uh, of my setup, I suppose. And someone that watches this channel actually ended up buying uh, the bag. So Gary, I hope you're enjoying the bag as much as I am. I think it's phenomenal. Um, and yeah, that's that's it for today. Uh, very quick, straight to the point. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. There is a thing for the tripod that you can put here. There's a bag. I don't use it because I take the monopod on the backpack. But yeah, these... These little pouches here on the side are a bit elastic, so you can pull. But I like the, the fact that the, the bag is very discreet, so it looks like a, a, a normal bag. Um, last but not least, it has handles on each side. And here on this side, it has a TSA lock, so you can actually, if I do this properly, I can actually lock it in place, okay? and change the code and whatnot. And at the top, there's also a cable and it comes with a lock as well. A cable that you can grab onto a pole or to somewhere to keep the bag safe and use that, that lock that comes with the bag to tie the bag to. Now, I don't use this to be honest because uh, there was someone else asking a question. Do you leave your gear alone when you're at matches and whatnot? Usually I'm very, very close to my gear. I just don't trust people. And even though I have insurance and whatnot, I don't wanna have to go through the trouble. I've heard all sorts of horror stories, people getting their gear snatched. So I'm always a bit paranoid and I stay close to my gear. But there's that, the, the cable, if you need it, it's there and the TSA uh, lock as well. Um, that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. Until next time, take it easy, guys. Stay safe.